Hey there and welcome to Costa Rica Story. And if you're new here, my name is Ed. I make videos about Costa Rica and my life here in Costa Rica. And if you're a regular here, my name still is Ed. And I make videos about my life here in Costa Rica. And today I'm just coming to you semi-live, not really live, but just coming from the Rio Ovito to show you show you how uh, how much rain that the we've had the Rio Vida is up it was really up yesterday quite a bit but right now it's it's still up but not as bad because the rain's kind of tapered off so we've had we've had more rain here lately than we've had probably in the last two years and as a result the river is quite a bit higher than it, that it has been in a while so I just wanted to give you a quick view of that. Of what I was this. I was blocking the traffic on the bridge. I don't, don't like to. I don't want to be that that uh, that guy, right? You know, the, the social media guy hogging the bridge. So yeah, this is the real veto when there's a little bit of uh, rain. That's how it looks. I'm standing right in front of a mud puddle. Probably not the best place to be standing here. But yeah, for the last couple of weeks, we've got a ton of rain, and it's finally the rainy season has lived up to uh, to its name. We're here on the bridge over the Rio Vita. It's just about 6 a.m., and that's when Ovita comes to life. This is when Ovita comes to life when people start going out to work. It's actually not really raining at all now. It's just, I, I do have my umbrella with me, but if I had the umbrella on right here uh, by the bridge, it would, a truck would probably knock it out. A truck would probably knock it out of my hand. So let's get another look at the Rio Vita. So this is, this is Wednesday morning, and this is kind of like the 360 view. But today is, is Wednesday morning, it's El Mercado. And I, I have a client for the Ubi Today adventure and we're gonna go to El Mercado this morning. And we're probably gonna try to go to Playa Ventanas and the Whale's Tail. We're gonna have to see what the, what the um, river is like. There's a river that you need to cross to get to Playa Ventanas. And if that's too high, you really don't wanna try to cross that. So if you'd like to come to Uvita and do the Uvita Day adventure, just go to uvitaday.com. That's uvitaday.com for more information on the Uvita Day adventure. We got some motos coming by. And motos, we call motorcycles motos here in, uh, in Costa Rica. It says, as you can see, Uvita is coming to life here. It's, it can be a busy place, even though this is not the tour season. There's still a lot of traffic here. This is the Pan American Highway, going from San Jose all the way down to uh, into, into Panama. So there's a lot of uh, traffic for for that. Just a lot of people going to work. So as I was saying, if you'd like to come to Uvita, do the Uvita Day adventure. Go to uvitaday.com for more information. And maybe you don't have enough time to do the whole day. We did the adventure, you're just gonna be in town. You can do the in-person meetup. Also information at ubitaday.com. So I'm gonna to try to cross the road one more time. There's a huge difference between 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. around here. And I'm not talking just talking about the daylight. It's it's pretty dark at 5 a.m. That's usually when I go to the gym, but the traffic is not just that one hour. The traffic picks up that much. All right, that's all I've got for this episode. This early morning, this early Wednesday morning episode of Costa Rica Story. Here's the truck. You gotta love the trucks. I'm gonna upload this right when I get home. So it's gonna be almost like a lie, but not really. All right, so thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to. Share, definitely. But just thank you for being here. All right.
Hasta luego.